The environment for financials has improved a bit as we've been pricing out easing expectations for the Federal Reserve. Uh, the Wait, yield say, say that again. So, so what you're saying is as people have actually talked Assume less Fed, about a rate right. cut. Because exactly. the Fed meets this week, so the less they're talking about that lately with the good GDP numbers exactly. and all that, the better banks are doing because the yield curve is steepening and That's all exactly that. right. So that environment's picked up, and again, it has been uh, a harsh one where the yield curve has been flattening, where interest rates have come down. Uh, that's been a great environment for growth shares, uh, for example. But we're seeing a little bit of a reversion in that. And we've seen, obviously, some very, very strong areas like uh, semiconductors, which have roared higher. The main issue, though, if we're going to take a look at the big picture, uh, is that this will be a new record year for earnings following a record earnings year last year. 22% EPS growth last year. We think it's slower this year, plus 5%. The first quarter looks to be a plus 2% quarter, right, positive uh, I think, now. Uh, mm -hmm. again, and that is with the energy sector at negative 30% in the first quarter. Wow. So, yeah, it's maybe negative a little bit 30, better Negative 30, even though oil prices are where they are. We'll, well, well that's where they're going to gonna go. Nancy, let me ask you, I mean, we've, I know you're in Alphabet. We'll talk a little bit more about uh, Google in just a moment. You know, where else do you feel comfortable uh, uh, as these markets continue to run up? Yeah, thanks, Kelly. So, you know, we've gotten a little ahead of ourselves. I mean, we've been big beneficiaries of the run-up in chip stocks, and we expect to see that slow down somewhat, although the, the auto news was good news for some of our holdings, the, the switch up in, and move up in autos. But we're, we're starting to sniff around in uh, healthcare again. I mean, we, we own many of the stocks, but a couple are starting to look attractive to us after the sell-off. We think, you know, the politics, just like in the Clinton administration decades ago, will ultimately benefit the pharmaceutical companies because they tend to be the providers of lower cost health care at the end of the day. So we're looking at Johnson. We own Johnson & Johnson. We're looking at adding, uh, and we, we've added to some of those names over the past few weeks. So that's one area. And then consumer discretionary, just based on our thesis that China is reaccelerating, the second half is going to be stronger, and the consumer is in great shape What are a couple of those US. names, Nancy, in consumer discretionary? So we added, we initiated a position in Tiffany in the fourth quarter. Yep. We've added to that this last week. Uh, Starbucks we initiated in the fourth quarter, and it's now representing close to one of our largest holdings. Still like um, Home Depot, uh, because we don't, our non consensus view is that housing is going to be better than expected. Hmm. Uh, there's a pent up demand from millennials living at home. It's like 31% of millennials still live at home. So we think that's going to drive low end of the housing market and will be good for the, the home improvement uh, companies. Steve, let me ask you about tech in particular. Uh, Fang, so to speak, has right. been so strong. They're leading the way again this time around. The leadership has not changed. Do you expect this pattern to continue? Well, look, the FANG stocks have had very big drawdowns in the past. You obviously saw one in the fourth quarter heading into this year. Uh, they are so widely owned and overweight by so many investors for good reason that often you have big drawdowns, a lot of volatility. But fundamentally, uh, if we take a look at five years, 15 years for those that we can track, uh, they have been gaining and growing share, 33% compounded revenue growth rate. Wow. Right? They're becoming Over five bigger. Years? Yes. And, and longer periods of time than that for those that we can measure. So these are companies that have done extremely well fundamentally. They may have some slowing at the margin. And when they are, uh, go down, they can go down by a great deal. And there may be difficulty in getting them back up. But fundamentally, they're becoming a bigger and bigger part of the world economy. Uh, and there are some analogs in some international markets in Asia, for example. Oh, sure. You look at those yeah. uh, names there. Let's.